Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Stephanie. So today I'm here with a video, a bit of, I would call it, um, pay my bills with me. And I do that once a month. So I know a lot of budgeters um, do have payments where they may show um, where they'll break down their budget to allocate a certain amount of money from each paycheck to go towards, say, their bills. Um, what I do is I typically like to pay my bills once a month. That way I am technically, I don't want to say ahead, but if bills are due, say, beginning of October, they're going to get paid the month before. Um, just one day sort of that I pick will be when I get my deposits and then my pay. And then that way I can sort of manage all my bills and pay them more, at least for me effectively. That way I'm not missing anything. So I wait for all of my bills to hit my emails because I get most of my bills um, electronically. Well, I get all of my bills electronically and or they're paid uh, from my visa or they're paid from uh, like directly automatically from my um, checking account. So let me break down how I pay my bills, um, show you how I've been tracking and sort of my new system in my happy planner. So what I'm going to be doing is actually retiring this tracker. So let me go over this tracker first. So this is a happy planner um, skinny mini. So I have been tracking in here, but I'm noticing that I'm not having enough room to sort of um, put my bills that kind of stuff and I have so many different planners all over the place if you are a planner babe then you know the struggle so I think you know it's always good when you have stuff use them up you know play around with different layouts because you're not going to know what style works for you until you try different things so for the month of September I kind of went back and transferred everything that was in here into my classic HP. I do have um, a vertical layout that I had picked up in a grab box or grab bag from a few months ago. So I do want to use up some of those um, layouts and play out with play around with them so I can show you what I mean by a vertical layout. So Happy Planner comes in different sort of styles. So this is what you would call the vertical boxes. I do have a plain vertical boxes, but I had already started sort of playing in that one. So I thought, you know what, let me pull this out. Um, at, let's see if I like this. I find it, I struggle the most with this layout, but I thought it would be good for tracking my expenses weekly. I know some people sort of track on their monthly calendar. So it's good to get, you know, different styles from different people and then adjust and see what works for you. So what I'm going to do is actually put down what bills are due for the month in here, show you what those bills look like, how much they are, and sort of give you a rough idea monthly um, how that works. So if you checked out my bill payments for August, I was in my, um, my Louis Vuitton desk agenda and that is in half letter. Let me show you. So this was the setup for, um, so as you could see, I had a lot of systems going. So I was tracking in here, I was paying my bills monthly in here, and then I was um, also using, obviously I used my uh, cash envelopes. So I had to make separate inserts because I wasn't having enough room in here for sort of, you know, writing in all of this information, how much I'm actually putting in there. And then, so that's like one, two, three different systems and they're all over the place. So you know what, sometimes you just, then I got to make these inserts. So that is an extra work. So I definitely um, have become uh, overwhelmed with too many systems. So definitely it's always good to simplify if you're finding yourself overwhelmed and when your life changes, right? Because for me, my life has changed. I am taking care of, you know, uh, or at least trying to help take care of my elderly father and my mother. Um, she had surgery, you know, she's supposed to be taking it easy. So I'm trying to help as much as I can. So I want everything to be portable. I want everything to be, you know, accessible and that kind of stuff. So this is what I was using. And then on the next sheet, paying my bills, as you saw in that last video. So I definitely want to retire um, some of these 
my Louis Vuitton desk agenda still will be for um, sort of tracking important things. Like I have like my my things that um, I need to do for the children for school, things that are private that I won't be sharing on my channel. So that will stay in there for them and for kind of household stuff that I'm not really sharing. And yeah, so sorry for this bit of rant. I will leave timestamps so you're not kind of sitting through all of the explanation if you're just here for the planning part. So here on my calendar, I have pulled some stickers. So I do know what days I need to pay bills. So I just want to go over that. So on the 11th, I have, so my children both have cell phones. Um, that way, I mean, my son is literally only nine years old, but I ended up getting him a cheap uh, old iPhone. You can't do anything on there really, to be honest with you, except receive phone calls and stuff like that. So when he's out, he's going to go ride his bike. It gives me a peace of mind that if, you know, his sister or him are going to the store, they have their phones, you know, I can get a hold of them, right? Do they answer? Most of the time, yes. But you know what? It gives me a little peace of mind. So don't judge me. They can't play games. They don't have a phone that they're on all the time. So none of that. And they both have older iPhones because I'm not playing with buying iPhone 12 and all that stuff for children. No. So I'm going to put down um, the days that bills are due. So one of the cell phones comes out on the 11th. And that is an automatic um, withdrawal. You know what? Let me grab some other stickers. Hold on. Okay, so this is the um, Happy Planner Save Now, Spend Later sticker book. So I'm just going to pull some stickers from here. So I'm just going to move this aside so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then, so on the 11th, one of the cell phones come out. So I'm just going to put that here. And then that cell phone bill... Um, is 16 so I'm just gonna put here cell number one and it's sixteen dollars and 95 cents and that is charged as I said to my visa and then the next one is going to be on the 16th so on the 16th that bill is charged to my visa as well so that is cell phone number two and that one is 28 uh, 25 then the next bill that comes out is on the 19th. So the 19th, that bill has now already been paid. So what I'm going to do is just put down a sticker here. And that is, and this one is the actual, um, so my parents have a home internet there that I pay for. My kids basically use it when they're there. And my mother, she's getting into like, you know, using like YouTube a little bit. And if she wants to go on WhatsApp to call her family because she was buying phone cards. I mean, if you have elderly parents, you know that they're, they're going to stick to their old school ways, but I'm like, it's free. Like I'd rather pay the $50. Everyone can use internet and you can call your family, especially now that she hasn't been in the greatest health that she could call her family anytime and they can get a hold of her without having to go through getting a phone card and all that. So I put that in her name, uh, sorry, in my name. And that bill is for the internet. And that was paid already. And then I can um, show you what I do after this. So that amount for that bill was $52.33. So that is already paid. So I just put a check mark there. And then the next um, withdrawal will be for insurance. And that came out yesterday. And that is the 20th. And so that has already been withdrawn from my checking account. So I'm just going to put a check mark. And that is for ins insurance is $220.12. And that is for two vehicles and home insurance. So the next bill that comes out is for on the 24th. That is internet and phone bill. So I'm just going to put that down here and that is a 24th. And so that needs to be um, paid from my visa every month. They just charge it. And that is internet and home phone. 
Why do I still have a home phone? You ask me. They always bundle services, right? So I'm just gonna put check mark because that is, actually, you know what? Let me just, let me not put a check mark because that way I can still pay it. And then when I pay it, I will check it off. So technically, even though it comes out and is charged to my visa every month, which is 133.79, uh, I still have to pay this. So even though the amount is going to be there, and it's already sort of withdrawn, like that bill is already gone to them and is paid, I still have to pay it back from my visa because they won't allow you with this phone company, phone and internet company is the only one available where um, I've moved to. So they are like, we want our money, so you have to give us a credit card. I mean, you could do a visa debit, I'm sure. So if you don't have a visa or a, a card, you can get a visa debit, what they call from the bank that way, it's charged as a visa, but it will be an automatic withdrawal from your account if you don't like sort of having to pay back a bill or if you don't have an actual visa. Um, the next bill that will come out is a automatic withdrawal from my checking account again, and that comes out on the 26th. So I'm gonna use one of these stickers here, and that is an automatic um, withdrawal from my checking account which is our Spotify and Spotify is like an Apple music my husband and I both share it because it didn't used to be this much but they um they sent a notification a little while ago saying that what did they say they said that I think they were undercharging because they weren't charging taxes based on the country I live in and then because I ended up adding a second person to my Spotify it was still cheaper than like two separate accounts so I just said you know what he loves it my husband loves it and I won't get rid of it because that is his peace of mind he loves his music so and he you discover so many artists on Spotify and a lot of times I find that a lot of artists will release music on sort of like the bigger platforms first like Spotify or Apple music stuff like that so it's good you get the albums free when you have an account you can download them play them offline when you don't have internet so if you're on the subway or whatever you could still play your music so it is really good for that purpose they have podcasts you could download so if you read sorry ride the subway or you know you don't get good service where you are you could download your stuff listen to it later so the next thing that is coming out this month so last month i forgot to include that in my bill payments i obviously do have to pay insurance it came out obviously but i didn't include it in sort of my budget total to show you um but this month it's here then the next thing will come out on the 30th this month which is our water bill and the water bill is coming out um bi-monthly so this month you'll see the amount so this month the water bill is 291.09 and that is prorated because um it was a summer month it was hot the grass needed to get watered because we just got new grass so I'm actually just getting a notification on my phone to pay the water bill, pay bill. So let's finish this because I will be paying everything today. And then the next thing will be on, um, on this day as well. And that will be for my cell phone bill. So I'm just gonna put this underneath. And then it has a little faucet, which is super cute. And that is from the older sticker, budget sticker book from Happy Planner. And that is what it looks like. And then I'm going to put down, so for here on the 30th, uh, my cell phone bill is due. And this month it is over, so $99.43. And that is because my son bought some stuff. And then instead of like putting on a card on my, my phone, I just sometimes will just charge it right to my phone bill. It's just easier. I'll pay it when, like now, when, when the bills are due. And then the last thing that I want to pay actually is my... Um, my visa. And my visa... Is going to you know what I did pull a sticker for insurance so let's do this so I'm going to actually take this one off 
Am I covering up that? Yes, I am. So let's cover, let's take this off and put, I'll just put my visa here and put the insurance beside it. So let's put that here. And this is car insurance. So the insurance is 220. And sorry for all the noise in the background. They are constantly doing construction in my area. So it's so noisy outside. And then for the bill, I'm gonna put visa here and visa I O. 110 and I always pay off my balance if you are curious for my visa as these things are charged to it I will pay it off sort of one time so 110 I believe is and 27 so my husband and I had to renew our um, business license and we had to renew um because he we are a partnership but he he is the main person who is self-employed so we keep our business name um i will be launching some items soon i do have a shop so you could check the description box but definitely um i want to renew that license i think i'll keep all of our products and things under the same uh business and just have the one business account all of us are on the same thing and all of our money goes into the same pot so it doesn't make sense to kind of split everything up and have all these separate accounts um but definitely i can see why you know if couples want to separate their finances i am here for all that my husband and i have never had a joint account that we um that we monitor each other's money we have one technically joint account that we transfer money to each other if we need to but we keep our money separate our money is private to each other like to ourselves and that works for us so i'm just gonna put here the total and i did that already so i lie i need to do one more thing so here on the side i'm going to put bills that are actually due um in october and but i will be paying it out of this month so i'm just gonna put that there and put that one here and so the first one that is due is um, october the fourth so october fourth and this one here october the fifth okay so on october fourth i have to pay the gas so the gas is going to be eighty dollars and twenty four cents and then hydro is going to be 101.04 for the month so that is a breakdown of all my bills so let's calculate everything make sure it's correct so 16.95 plus 28.25 plus 133.79 plus 101.04 plus 80.24 plus 291.09 .09 plus 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 99.43 so the total I have is 1,148 and 19. So 1,148.19. Okay. I'm actually going to recalculate that. I won't bore you. So let me just redo it, make sure. Okay, so that is correct. I just wanted to make sure I did it over just to make sure that that is the right amount. Regardless, at the end of the day, I still got to pay all these bills. So whether, you know, you're behind and you're putting things on visas or whatever it is, or doing a bi-weekly payment, you got to figure out what works best for you. Paying mine, as I said earlier, you know, all at once makes this most sense. I can save from different... Um, Sometimes if my husband gives me money, which I really don't ask for money for stuff like this, like to pay bills, but if I do, then it can go into that account that we have and I can pay from there. So, 
you know, you have to kind of budget your money the way it works and the, how your income is coming in, whether it's through, you know, a paycheck, unemployment, whether you're getting income from, you know, your, um, your ex, like partner, like your child's, uh, father or your child's mother, whatever it is, then you break down that money here. And sometimes you can you know, put half of your payments from one check to pay towards the bills, pay it from, you know, one whole paycheck or break it up, whatever it works, as I said, best for you. So that is my bills here. So I am going to um, show you now how I am tracking. So my new setup is I am putting everything, as I said, in this one section for budget. And I did still print off this monthly bills because initially I tried to kind of put everything here. But if I have to still track my, um, so here we'll say how much I am stuffing, I stuffed for um, my sinking funds, how much went into like how, my spending for the week. So at least when I'm doing it, I can see everything at a week at a glance here. The day actually starts on the 19th, but um, I'm debating if I should just go from sort of like Monday to Sunday which might make the most sense um, in terms of tracking my spending instead of it starting on a Sunday, which might make, so it will end here. And then I can, um, even though I post on a Sunday, I will still be, you know, good to show you sort of how that spending went on that day. And then maybe post in the evening. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments what works best. And then that way everything is here on... Like I could just change this anyways, because whatever spending I did, I could have just, you know, roll it over for the next day. But you know what I mean? So here I have my monthly bills. I am going to write everything in and decorate this spread. I can fast forward this part, but um, I will still record it. That way you guys can see how, you know, I decorate because listen, if I'm going to pay bills, as I keep saying, I need it to be pretty. So here we go. bills in here and all I'm gonna do now is just write in all my bills I put the bill description here the amount uh, the date paid and the confirmation number once I paid it online and then that's it and then I'm just going to stick it in here for the month and I will stick it back in here for um, the month so then I know those bills have been now paid so that is my setup so if you have any questions about my how I budget, um, like more in depth, you know, sort of how much, why I come up with a certain amount that I stuff and yeah, more of an explanation then I could do that definitely on my next uh, bill payment sort of video and show you what my expen my expenses are for the month there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out and turn on your notification, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.